already. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna get poison ivy. Yeah, if you didn't. There's more. Oh yeah, it's all over. I'm here at the cut station. What are you guys working on? Uh, some boxes. Four. Four. <laughs> Uh, pillars. Concrete. Okay. Concrete pillars. That's a concrete form. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's like what that is. Bridge building stuff. And Arlo, yeah, we're uh, I think, contributed the scraps, right? Yeah. Yeah. This was like all laying in the garage there. Who Perfect. knows what? Okay. Freebie number one. Freebie Chick. Number one. So I'm going to start digging right here. We're going to set this first form and then reference from here. Over. What I'm trying to do is suspend this form over the footing because I don't want to pour the thing and then wait for it to set up and then set a form. I want to do this it will all at time. once. We're going to make the concrete a little bit dry, a little bit on the stiff side, we'd say. That's one way to do it. <laughs> It was dry when I left. I don't know, maybe somebody shot some water. Oh. Huh. Probably, probably Carter did it. <laughs> I don't even have a little army shovel like this, but this is perfect for shoveling out of a wheelbarrow where you're kind of raised up. Oh, Good call on whoever bought this. It's the kid's shovel. Is it? Yes. Oh, dude. That's <laughs> Oh, there's there's a a boy using I'm it. telling you, this is perfect. Like, way better than a full-length shovel where you're like yeah, you stabbing get, Ray with it. You can only get half the load on it. That's yeah. why no, you like perfect. it. <laughs> I'm really wondering if Jamie really bought the shovels for the kids or they're for him. No, they, he brought them, bought them for us. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what he said anyway. dad lies, <laughs> <man. Yeah. laughs> All dad oh, lies. Yeah. Oh, I'm buying this new diesel <laughs> truck. It's for the kids, though. They love, they love <laughs> diesel that's, trucks. They love it. <laughs> You know like that? I mean, what, I, what I brought was like a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Ooh, that is so satisfying. It is. All right, now we can fill it up the rest of the way here. How about one more? I bet it's going to settle a little bit. We'll just leave that on there for now. Let it be. Ice expands. Ice expands, concrete shrinks. Most people would have hooked that on the form, but that's the actual outside of the footing, the way you did it. All right, here's what we're doing. The front is done. Now we need to do the back ones. And now we use the front ones as our reference. So we need to go 12 feet out into the air. Yes. And 16 Down a big feet slope. wide. It is, and you could do the math and like figure out the angles. You could no. be like, <laughs> if you're a surveyor and you had some really fancy equipment, yeah. you could do that. Just for anyone um, who doesn't know, if you measure down the slope, your measurement of the width of the building, the building's gonna be like a foot narrower than you expected because of the way you measured at an angle. Yeah, it's all about that hypotenuse now. Yeah, so um, how are we, we gonna do this? Well, we had a crazy idea. Why don't we just make um, a square or rectangle, I'm sorry. Did you know that a rectangle? Uh, no, back to the okay. point. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna actually make a uh, a template, if you will. Of, because it's a small structure. It's super small, 12 by 16, and we're gonna square it by nailing a diagonal brace across it out of some really lightweight extra leftover trim. And then we're gonna actually just hold it in place and then plumb bob the corners down. That's gonna be great if it works. I think it'll be and easy. And we have never done this like this before. I've never seen anyone do it either. Well, that's all the more reason for us to do it right now. Yeah. Dad, he can't help himself, uh, he loves digging <laughs> he likes pulling he's digging out. up stumps so that you don't ruin your mower well that's good because yeah. i might start somebody's focus do it. yep somebody's got to do it so and specialty. that's his specialty <laughs> <laughs> we've got the mega frame assembled and um i think jamie was trying to figure out how to waste as much money as possible <laughs> to lay this thing out it's probably like 12 dollars each pieces of trim so like a 50 dollar. you got a 50 dollar template here 
expensive. Ish. Expensive. You could have done this with string lines and diagonals and plumb bobs, and that's the way we usually do it. I can tell you Just for so you know. certain. I can tell you for certain this material has been sitting on the shelf where it's at for 12 years. So it's a pretty good run. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was so it was a freebie. Also free. No materials purchased yet. Mega frame. Now I know the real reason why we never do this. Freaking <laughs> arms <laughs> are still smoking right now. This is not even that steep. It's only one finger pressure, but my arms are about to fall off. Take your time, Jamie. No, I got it. All right, so I'm going to eyeball it. Hi, Hi what, what? Your dad's doing fine over there. Well, Hi. maybe he does push-ups. <laughs> you missed it. You missed How the do whole you, thing. No, I didn't miss. That's right on. No, Excuse me, uh, miss. Okay, we're gonna do a little stabilization here. All right, stab it in. Do you think it's good? Yep. <laughs> here it is, right there. If anybody missed it. That was the whole reason we built this frame. Is that right there? <laughs> it only took like 10 minutes No, though. it was fast. It was. It, was, it wasn't. That's was actually a pretty good idea for a small structure. Yeah, think about doing this on a whole. Hey, 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 <laughs> I'm watching. Poison Ivy. No. Already. I, I don't uh, know that you could get it that fast. I think it takes like eight hours. No, she didn't. No. Unless you're really I do, allergic. I do everything fast, dude. I'm good. <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> now we have this pile of rough cut lumber, sawmill lumber. It's all different dimensions, you know? None of them are straight. And I'm trying to build something of uniform size and straight, right? So what do we do? A couple things. I'm gonna utilize my track saw here. This is the uh, aluminum track saw that I built. So basically, now we have to process all this material into its usable sizes before we can build anything. That's kind of a drag, but it's part of it. And this is what I had laying around. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> this is six inch by six inch angle iron, three eighths thick. I got lucky enough that uh, a relative of mine had it laying in a field under a bunch of briars <laughs> and other crap for a very I'm long glad time. I missed that part of the project. <laughs> um, so I am very thankful for uh, Sherman for having this for me. Now attaching the wood beams to this. Oh, let's save it. Let's save it. You, you gotta keep watching the what? video. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, how do you yeah. attach a two by six to this? I'll tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Later. I'll tell you later. I noticed you're using the old 7018 stick there. I am, and it's not because I'm really good at it. I'll tell you, that's probably the last reason I would say. Um, it's easier out here because I don't have to have my gas bottle and all that. Like with MIG welding, you would? Yeah, MIG welding, you got the gas bottle, you got the cart. It is easier, just pull the trigger, right? Yeah, I think it's probably the number one most widely used type of welding in the world. Here's a look at one end of our finished floor joists, which are oak two by six, like you'd find in a house from 1940. Yep. True yeah. six inch. What can you tell me about them? Uh, they're solid wood, baby. <laughs> they're heavy. <laughs> they're free because that was sitting at our lot for years. And, I didn't think fact, I'd see the day where oak yeah. floor joists were cheaper than just going to the store and buying a floor joist. Oh, but yeah, today no is kidding. that day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no kidding. <laughs> yeah. I got to say, I have never used a cutting torch. This is my first time, and I borrowed one right here from my stepdad. Thank you, Bob. And uh, he's contributed. See, the contributors. <laughs> Sherman contributed the steel. Thank you, Sherman, again. Uh, Bob with the, uh, the cutting torch. Here They're we go. all going to want to sit in your mower garage with Hey, you. they can all come hang out. It'll be a good time. <laughs> Okay, so the Kubota and 
was beating these down with a hammer? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't a joke. oh, <laughs> you really pulled your hamstring. Yeah, 100%. Well, he just pulled a hammy again. Oh. Hey. <laughs> it is like a freaking <laughs> slip and slide <laughs> down. Um, yeah. All right, bub, you ready for this mud this time? Yeah. Get, you your, your, get you, your feet dug in. You Dude, your, I can't, No man. more hammy fins. These got good, but they got no traction. Finally feel like we got it. We built something out of steel. You know, people, they think the house is going to fall down immediately if we build it out of wood. Mm -hmm. If it's out of brick, they don't like that either. I thought they would. And finally, <laughs> we built something out of steel and it's a freaking shed. Yeah, it's going to hold so, the lawn more. I feel good about it, though. Arlo was just saying we would have had this thing built if all this was wood instead of steel at this point. Probably. What fun would that be, though? No, yeah. this is cooler. No, yeah. I'm with you. But just, yeah. you know, just something to note. This is taking forever. <laughs> and it's a lot of work. Yeah, they don't... Just remember this is free steel and free wood. Well, yeah, you which... know, he actually paid for the wood, so it's not... Well, at some free. point we did. Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, but... And you know what? Really I paid good... for half of it. Probably a really good price. So I'm going to park my freaking bike or something here. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see a piece of wood, huh? Yeah. It's so light. to do it yeah what's wrong oh, no. jason made chauffeur. one other uh fancy cut here what's that all about yeah we call it the chauffeur cut um just to make sure that because the welds in there yep if it was 90 it still would hit that and be and that's the chauffeur isn't that what it's called yeah yeah the chauffeur cut chamfer Cham oh chamfer yeah chamfer cut yeah that's what that is <laughs> that way it sits in there we can get all the i can't tight. even see you because that hat brim <laughs> there you are there we go the chauffeur cut <laughs> joist hanger itself yeah this is pretty i almost wish jamie was going to put like a plexiglass floor on this or something <laughs> you know it's pretty cool looking with the oak and the steel and the bolts but the only question is should we have notched three ace out of those so they hit level with this you know and now he's going to have that little shut your dirty yeah. mouth <laughs> we're to the point of having the floor framing done i gotta say this was a lot of work in this method of construction is very strong yet very labor intensive especially all the steel parts and the welding and drilling and heavy lifting um, also we had to rip you know all these two by sixes of oak down that took some time but in the end i gotta say it's super strong i love the way it looks and i'm happy with it I think Jason knows he needs an airline on that thing yet. <laughs> we've done the foundation, we've done the floor framing, and now we're on to the floor decking out of stuff that we had already. Yeah, and I think the decking part is actually going to be the easiest part of this entire build. It's good, it's good. Shoot it! Oh, man, that's going to... How would you got that turned on? Is that like I should go check the pressure. Yeah. Um, that's maybe give oak a to oak. About one. <laughs> Ooh. Take a few shots. That's what was worse. that, 110? No, still around 100, but I was waiting. I, oh, God. I turned oh. it a lot. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> no, just beat him in. Beat him in. Jamie was just saying he thought that the nailing of this decking would be the easiest <laughs> part it's of the this. The easiest part of the whole thing. And we right can't here. get a nail to go even like, well, that's a, mean, that's a good halfway in. But uh, hit, the, hit those with a hammer. I want to see what they I do. Don't have Clinch. Clinching. <laughs> Nailed it. There's, there's no chance. Uh, maybe get that one. Yeah. One. We could hand drive them. I think that the moral of this whole build is going to be it's cheaper to buy materials mm -hmm. than to use what you have and have a lot more labor. You know. Huh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> what? 
We're always answering questions about what we think of these cordless nailers. And today we're getting a little more insight here we're into- We're sort of a mixed bag of results here. Uh, so the air nailer on this, unless I crank the pressure up to 200, um, <laughs> try that. Uh, the Dewalt somehow do is that, just the is driving the nails all the way. The Dewalt's doing it. I know. What about the pass lid? Not really. Not doing it. We might have to go one more button on your really, shirt there, Castle oh, <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to cool off, man. It was hot. Sorry, bro. All sorry. right. Hey, his neighbor called. Told you to go f yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is pretty loud. I hear it echoing. What? 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 Hello, like, hello, hello. People up at Tater Knob are like, what is that noise? <laughs> How's it going over there? Shut your <laughs> In keeping with the theme of not buying any wood for this project, it's very cool, I think, that all of this wood came from trees here at my house and at my friend's house only one mile from here. Cool. So all that wood is used right here. Boom, it's gonna serve me on this property. And I Were think those trees like where your house was or just off the side? No, of the they property? were actually dead trees on the edge of the property. The branches were falling out. Um, and I called my, actually they were my neighbor's trees to be. <laughs> no, he said I could cut them. <laughs> this is giant dead branches falling in my driveway and yeah. I have young kids riding around here and they're on their bicycles and stuff. So I called him and said, hey, these trees are dead. Can I cut them? He said, cut them. So uh, I hired a guy to cut them. And... That's what you told the guy that cut them anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's how, that's how I got all this wood. It was actually here and it was, it was a hazard. It was a danger. Uh, so we cut that's it down. That's a good story. Yeah. What are you guys making? I'll, I'll tell you what, you chart that in. I'll huh? hold this in. Oh, we're making the wall framing now. Looks uh, heavy. It's white pine. Oh, it's pine. It's white pine. Really? I was actually scared to use it, but it doesn't matter. Not inspected. It don't matter. It's actually fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> white pine studs. Two by fours, not three and a half. Just like you used to see. You're still gonna have to cut it. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> So our platform is done, and I'm just wondering, we spent most of the morning just making the studs, right? Yeah. I mean, basically taking these huge boards and making studs. Um, it was free material, uh, but I was just doing some maths to figure out. We saved maybe $400, like 40 studs, 10 bucks a stud for a two by six stud right now. Uh, there was like four of us working on this. Uh, does that add up? Probably not. Or probably not. So <laughs> that's something, maybe we'll talk about more of that in the video of, you know, was it actually cheaper to have free material? Hmm. Uh-oh, now- uh -oh. <laughs> I just couldn't help but overhear <laughs> what you're talking about. I think your maths didn't add up on the free material. Well, you know, to have a successful YouTube video, you have to have a really good looking thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. You gotta have a really good title to your series. Yep. And, and I was thinking about it. So I thought we could name this one, uh, the most um, inefficient, labor intensive uh slowest <laughs> way to build a barn not for free mm. you thought it was free <laughs> i thought it was free that's what it's gonna be yet another snag here with this material <laughs> material we're using that was free is that three inch long framing nails will barely go through it into the stud these are plates Do you have like four inch nails somewhere five inch no no. So I don't know what, I mean, we might have to just tack them and hey, then toenail them. You can toenail on the front, actually, or okay. on the edge, on the edge. All right, well, that was just something to note. And I'm just tick marking the, the center of 16s here. Cause it's, I mean, we can eyeball center and we got a super wide stud, right? So we got yeah. like four, <laughs> we got four super wide studs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that worked. <laughs> I think that worked just fine. I need about a thousand of those now. Did 
it just me or Jamie forget to lay out jacks on the wall? He forgot how to lay out walls. Dude, we don't need jacks on anything like this. <laughs> you, just put, you just put stuff in that stuff. All right. <laughs> Let's pause for a second. I want to count okay. how many nails you're having to use in well, one of these. Well, I mean, normally you would use three. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 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 So we're losing on the nails. I got one thing to say. If that was Ray or I, oh my gosh, dude. He would have <laughs> lost his mind. What in the world? You put my nails in there, Who? Who are you talking about? I only got five of mine. There you go. Oh, golden boy. No, you're supposed to put 15. Hey, those were all leftover nails though, right? Yeah. We didn't oh, buy any of them. Yeah. No, I mean, we bought them. Well, at some point in time, yeah. But not We've been recently. saving them. <laughs> yeah. For this. Uh, and Ray's out. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Ray tapped out. All right, who? Who's holding it? I you? got it. Somebody? I got it. I got it right here. So if I do six feet, I think you need to go we'll there again. Maybe we'll I don't know if you're as good with that hammer as you were your other one. All right, so we're going <laughs> to. Remember how we had a plan that was going to look kind of like this? Right. Well, you can forget all that. Okay. See, based on what the pile of material has given me, I I'm thinking I'm going to change the plan. Okay. I don't have rafters long enough. Okay. I don't. And. I was gonna glue some up and make some staggered, glued up, nailed up, screwed yeah. up, all that. And then I decided against it because I had some more two by material that'd make good rafters, but they're too short. Uh huh. We were actually gonna put a steel beam in the center yep. of the span. Break the span. And put a little plate there. See, I drew a little metal plate to bolt it through. So what's what's the plan now? Well, so instead of doing that, I decided against that for a couple of reasons. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> um, all right, so I started drawing on pencil and paper here. All right, so what, what we're probably gonna do um, and I just drew a really quick sketch. By the way, I drew that while we were driving to dinner in the car. <laughs> if you wonder why it's all squiggly, then uh, don't worry Wait, about that. you were actually driving with um, the pencil? Okay, I think this there? is the one we want to no, see. No, I right wasn't here. driving. I wasn't, That's the one I we wasn't see. driving. Okay, now there's two though. And I think I've already decided which one to do, but I want to make it feel like you get an essay in it too. The maximum rafter length I have is 12 feet. Okay. So I started at the back and I, and I went 12 feet and to see how far to the front I could get. And then we're gonna do this kind of like little steeper, shorter pitch in mm -hmm. the front. Eight, 12, four, um, 12. So that's a four and an eight, and then this is a three and a six. Okay. And I also drew two types of siding. We got the six inch lap siding, <coughs> and then the uh, the board and batten vertical. And I think we're gonna do that. It looks less busy. Okay. See how it's like less lines? I see that. What is this? Well, we've reached a, a hold up here because Jamie and Arlo are uh, doing some meeting of the minds. That what they, is this? So they drew out the roof system full scale on the floor to make sure that the lengths of the pieces are lengths that we actually but have. Why so is see that, this? Right? Why is here. this? I thought yeah, you were doing just straight two no, by twelve. No, he changed it. It's gonna it's gonna go like that. He didn't have rafters long enough uh, to do it in one shot because we're not buying material. <clears throat> We're just making the material for twice the cost. <laughs> so this thing is not going to be a shed roof. No, it's going to be an. Actual... It's going to be an asymmetrical, you know, peak. Like it's going to go way up and then a little down. Different pitches. So while we're standing here waiting, we're still getting paid, right? Uh... <laughs> we're getting paid all the money that he thinks that he's saving on That's right. all this wood. All right, now let, now let him try. No, I ain't trying. Yeah, let's we'll see you do it. Do that cut. Now, easy. Let the weight of the saw. Let the weight of the saw do the work. That was an interesting way to hold it. <laughs> it was very careful. <laughs> Exactly how I'm going to attach all this together. I don't, I don't know. know. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying it now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. He it's said just, you could have gone and bought 10 dude, 2 by 12s This saw cuts at an angle. Is that what it is? It's way angled, yeah. Yeah, we were noticing that on some boards. Bottomed out at zero, it's, it's angled bad. I think I dropped that off a roof. Well, because this, this cut's way angled and I cut it with the saw. All this crap I cut was with the saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Cream. It's got some adjustments on it somewhere.
We're making a little truss, a baby truss. We're putting little scabs across the connection between the collar tie and the rafter to hold it from spreading. That's the purpose And you've of also it. made a full scale jig on the floor to make sure they're all the same. I thought, why not? We'll input each piece of material into the jig. That way we got repeatability. They all come out of the jig the exact same shape and size. And if they don't fit in the jig, they get trimmed until they do fit in the jig. Right. And now we're going to start putting these up one at a time. Actually, we should check this one before we make all of them. Right. So we're going to uh, start with this one, check the fit, and then we're going to make, what, seven of these, eight of these? Seven. It's not that many. heavy it's oak that's why we don't do oak trusses i guess Here you go. suckers heavy that this type sense. of truss was uh, a fit okay. yeah and it looks real shetty yeah well, yeah <laughs> it looks, it super looks shetty. shetty all right <laughs> super Man. shetty what'd you say it's shetty yeah that's slang for <laughs> We're down to these last two trusses and it seems like it would be a good idea to put one up and then put the other one up but a good trick that we've learned over the years is that you sort of run out of space if you try to get one up and then you need room to flip the next one up there's not room to do it mm. so a good trick we learn is just to get one in place slide it over tack it to an existing truss and just let it chill for a minute while you get the second one up put it in place then untack that one slide it over make it easier on yourself Pro tip. I want to point out our scaffolding setup and we haven't used these in a while so many of you may not have seen our wall walker hanging scaffolding that just hangs on the top plate and then it has an extension for your walk board. That's a really cool thing in a situation where you have uneven ground or need to get up a little higher than you usually would need to get. So uh, I got a few pictures of that for you guys to see, but that's a, a pretty nice thing that we own. Uh, what do you think of Uncle Jamie's mower shed so far? It's rustic looking. It's rustic looking. What else? It's pretty much all. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to barn build day number four. Four. <laughs> all right, today we're putting the roof decking on top of these beautiful oak trusses that we made. We're ripping down a bunch of oak boards and straight edging them right now. That's gonna be the surface of the roof. It rained really hard yesterday <laughs> and I was sad. I sat on my porch, I watched it pouring rain on my poor little barn and it, getting all wet. It did get wet, you can really tell. I didn't know what might happen because these boards are already butt tight. And if you didn't know, that's what the Egyptians used to use to split rocks with, like giant rocks, right? They would drill holes with them and drive wedges, really dry wooden wedges uh -huh. into there. They would beat them in and then pour water on them. And guess what? Expand. It could, you can split giant boulders with expanding wet wood. So it's no joke. It's got an immense amount of strength. We're immediately into a layout issue. This should be the center of our truss, the edge of this. And that means all these need to go that way to make them plumb, but we can't budge these things. They're really solid. So Jamie's rigging up a chain to something. What are you going to your truck? Uh, I'm thinking maybe a tree. A tree. Uh, All right, slack is pulled out. All right, now give it a little, give it a little pull. All right, Jay. Is the whole building moving? Um, it's the hard trusses to, are. The trusses are. It's hard to say right now what's moving. Between our cable and just pulling this rafter over, you can see now we've got it centered up like it's supposed to be. Right here. All right, let's do it right here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? All right, good catch. Pull it this way a little bit.
you know, this is a lot of work processing this wood. Um, really can't imagine doing it for a, like a full size house. And no. we've got pretty good tools too. And we're set up right here. So like the old timers that did this with, I don't know, like hand tools? Oh, stuff man. like that. <laughs> ah, I mean, we got everything we need and it's still just like sucks, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Looks pretty shady. Looks pretty shady? Yep. Super shady? Super. What do you think, oak or zip board? What's your favorite? Uh, zip. We had some roll screen material left over from a job and uh, it's here and it's free. I'm gonna staple it up right here and put some trim around it just to cover the edges of the stapling. And boom, we got some nice vents. I think it's gonna stay cool all summer. And cold all winter. Ray's got a couple cool specialty guns we're using now. They're staplers. That one's really a sheathing stapler. Shoots, shoots 7 16 by two inch staples. And then that one's a narrow crown. And what is that? 5 30 seconds? Uh, I think it's 7 30 seconds. 7 30 seconds, narrow crown, one inch. Yeah, uh, I think you need to come out a little bit. You're, you got a couple of these sticking long by a little. Okay. Wanna go and do roofing underlayment now? Yeah, because it could rain today. Like any minute actually. Yeah, we should we should do it. Roofing underlayment, also a leftover from uh, the farmhouse. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Grace, ice and water shield, it's supposed to stick. It's pretty hot out here. It's I pretty think. hot, so I think it will in a minute. We're out of this. What what else you got? I think I got that raptor paper. Raptor paper, okay. Ray's got ice and water, or Ray's got bitethane. I, think you can I don't do it think that'll be good to walk on. Just so you know, almost all this roofing underlayment is gonna say no staples. But we're shooting you know, staples with a button cap. I think they probably mean don't shoot it with just staples. Don't just use a stapler. And the reason is it will tear loose, right? And you'll slide off the roof. Potentially. You could. So I don't know if this is really approved in their instructions, but I feel good about it. We've done it in a lot of cases. Um, it's way faster than hand nailing with the button caps. Oh yeah. Hand, you know. We haven't done that in a long time. Whoa. Morning. Welcome to the start of day five barn build here. We're never gonna finish this thing. <laughs> it's getting complicated, but we're putting on siding already. You missed the first little wall, but now you're here. So we're gonna talk about it. This building has no sheathing. Right. And the purpose of sheathing, among many things, is to actually hold the structure from racking laterally. Side to side. Yes. Back in the old days, the barn builders would actually put their boards on diagonally, and it would be like continually braced everywhere. Yeah. So they were super strong. That's right. They, they, plywood. Yeah, the siding would be put on diagonally. Uh, but we're not doing that because we don't have enough wood to do that. I actually wanted to do that, and we ran out of wood. Thank God. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's a terrible. good thing. I'm actually glad too. Well, what we're doing is we're using these LP Smart side soffit panels. Okay. They're 16 inches wide. And we are shooting them about every four or five inches along the edges. Yeah. Imagine it like riveting an airplane together or yeah. something like that. That's what we're doing. That is providing the lateral shear resistance. They were a freebie. They were left over from a job. That's, that's right. And I think it's gonna work great. All right, let's get going. All right. Uh, it wouldn't hurt. Y'all got a Forget super something. highway here. Ooh. I'm telling you what, all the way around. Here. That's not bad. I've had way worse. Thank you. Hey, that's yeah, it. that's what I'm looking for. Wow, that's yeah. nice. Get it all filled in. Front the face? Yeah, just. I got the biggest, nappiest nap I could find. The nastiest, biggest, nappiest nap. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, 12. It's gotta go nope, more. gotta go more. You 
guys ever heard of a she shed? Um, I have, yeah. Yeah. What I'm thinking is there's no way his wife is going to let him put mowers in this thing. This is going to be her getaway. Has your wife said the word she shed in the last few days? Has that come up in any conversations? Nope. Nope. None. Zero. Okay. Just nope. watch out for that word. You're in T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Yeah, uh, you might have been sniffing some of your black chalk. Oh, I did. I did have some black chalk. <laughs> it's <laughs> every day. Dude, it gets all over everything. Why doesn't all the other colors of chalk do that? I don't know. Something about the black chalk. Like that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Are you having fun up there, Ray? Hey, hold the middle up. <laughs> hold the middle up, Ray. Cut. Look at that baton work right there. Oh, yeah. That's not, beautiful. Like, hey, where's Ray? Is it torn at the bottom? I don't know. Uh, I see empty Skittles and a sugar Gatorade. He's probably passed up into a tree somewhere. Yeah, we should probably actually look for him. Ray, Ray! Ray! Ray's tinted out. Wow. Ooh. I don't think that's mine. Uh, that is mine. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so what's going on now? It's raining. I don't know. That might be it. Uh, what time is it? Uh, I think like 3.30. Yeah, we're done. We're, that's it. It's Monday morning. We're back for day six of our barn build with Jamie. I think he might have just broken the rules of not buying anything. Ramps. Where did these come from? These weren't here. I've never seen these. No. So. I don't know if he paid for them or not. Oh. I think he might have just. Oh, might have been donated. For free from okay. A gentleman friend of his. Well, that would be nice. Yeah. Let's go find out. Did you buy the ramps or were they donated? All right. So, <laughs> all right. This whole thing about building it with what we have. There, there have been some exceptions. Oh. I, I had to buy paint. I had to buy paint. But the ramps. Oh, the ramps. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to pay $120 for the ramps. Okay. Although, I got a story real quick <laughs> that we might just work out a trade. You remember that table saw that we left out in the rain and it quit working? Yeah. All right. It sat around here for a while. I just left it out in the rain for a couple more weeks. I eventually, I, I cut the cord off of it because it had a nice cord on it that we yeah. put on it. And I, I took it down to my buddy at the machine shop at the scrapyard and said, hey, you can have this. It's got a lot of metal in it. He was happy. So he asked me the other day when I went to get these ramps from him, that's where it came from, like a salvage yard. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, why'd you throw that saw away? I thought it doesn't work. He said, oh, it works great. What? He said, but the only problem was somebody cut the cord off of it. <laughs> I said, well, I cut the cord off of it because it didn't work. <laughs> He's like, well, I just wired a new cord on it. He said, it runs great.
Huh? So the no way. I said, well, I guess you lucked out, my friend. You got you a saw. I'm happy for you. So it might be a trade. <laughs> it might be a trade of a saw that didn't work, that does now, and now I got some ramps. That could be a good trade. Hey. All right, so here's my little cross section here. That's gonna be my trim board there. Uh -huh. And then we'll put the angle in, you know, right there, of course. Right. One thing working in town, what is it? Go to lunch early. That's right. Everybody gets out for lunch at 12 everywhere else. Not these guys. We go to 11.30, first in line. Now, are you just doing this so you don't have to paint? Or is there some reason you're He's, digging? Uh, your brother. The king of the ideas <laughs> decided that he wants to put a little gravel thing. F footing? Yeah, Seems yeah. a little extra. Oh, I'm yeah. sure it is extra. Uh, we need to get you some right now. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little beautiful. humpy in the middle there, but I think it's all right. <laughs> Like, even if it's not level to gravel, we can just, like, he goes, pound it to where level. self-level anyways? I said, do you not know your Uncle Jamie? He wants the dirt level under he the level to, gravel. Yeah. No one's going to see the gravel or the dirt. Oh, my gosh. Please go tell him that. <laughs> oh, he's throwing it in the oh, barn. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> that was on purpose. Sorry. Where did you get the gravel? His neighbor. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. So gravel just went to the shop. So you just skim some off the top? Yeah. Okay, so that was free. That's all I'm checking on. It's free. Make sure he's not buying gravel behind my back. <laughs> so doesn't the gravel like level itself? Because you can cut it down to a level. Like the dirt doesn't have to be level for the gravel to be level. See? The dirt does not have See, to be perfectly level. See, the man knows what he's talking about. We should listen to him more yes. often. The dirt does not have to be perfectly level, correct. But I think we need more gravel. He's not gonna have any gravel left on the driveway. <laughs> I got Jamie's ramps. So that's your footing. There it is, big okay. piece of galvanized. And it is galvanized, I didn't realize yeah. that at first. Yeah. So that'll do better underground. I think it'll last long enough. It'll last a long time. Yeah. Wow, did you see that? Mm-hmm. Oh, this uh, galvanized zinc stuff doing some crazy stuff. I don't think it likes it. So we are aware that the smoke or the fumes off of the zinc coating is hazardous. So the wind is blowing it that way. I was making sure not to breathe any of the smoke. We're gonna grind away the zinc so that when I weld, we're not burning zinc with the welder making a uh, gaseous, gas, gaseous, gaseous, <laughs> a gaseous, gaseous. Really? I gaseous, a gaseous. Haze All right, this of... isn't show about <laughs> spelling. <laughs> trying to catch everything here but there's a lot happening uh arlo and jono are in here building a barn door processing wood yeah processing and uh, wood. this is cool that's off of like one board barn door to the wood processing there on one side of the board one side of the board it's a lot of sawdust
Don't let my wife see that. He won't wear one, but he'll use mine. <laughs> hey, uh, I think he's got a pretty good reach. <laughs> step over this way a little bit, would you? <laughs> I don't need to. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> There you right. go. I got another one for you. There you go. Oh, I missed the spot right here. I'll draw that right here. Wow, look at that reach. That's better than I thought. We're using these drywall screws to screw the rail on this door, and Jono's got a pretty cool pro tip. Using some hand soap to lubricate. It's actually Arlo's idea. Yeah. Uh, it and works it, great. Yeah, I think it'll keep it from uh, snapping the heads off these things, which Maybe it would otherwise. Well, and as soon as the head sets, all the soap comes squirting out. And your door's really clean. And, yeah. <laughs> and no snap screw soap. That's exactly it. It's you're, hard to get a snap old... <laughs> screw out of a piece of oak if you never try that. See, all my camping's paid off here. Jamie's commandeered me to help help him build a little lean-to here to keep the rain off him. He just can't wait, huh? Yeah, only excuse. Oh, he's got, a, he's got him on the barn door sliders yeah, there. Yeah, dude. That's not bad. He knows what he's doing. So he's we've been here all day, and, and the weather keeps saying, no, it's not going to rain, it's not going to rain, and guess what? It's raining. Still. Uh, I think you might need something here in the middle, Jamie. Really? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work very well. <laughs> Man. It's good. It's good. I'm oh yeah. It backwards. That's great. That's great. Let me see that drill. I don't know. We can call it a day. I don't care. I mean, I don't know. How is it welding in the mud stuff? <clears throat> it's terrible. You think it's bad? However bad you think it is, it's way worse than that, I can tell you. <laughs> Otherwise, things are going great. This bottom section is fully welded out. It probably took 10 times longer than somebody that's good at welding would take to do it. But it is done. I believe it's very strong. And now that I got all the extra ground off, it, it actually doesn't look bad. We're back at the barn build for day like seven or eight. We, we kind of lost a couple days with rain and bad weather and the ramp has turned out to be this massive project because we're making it out of this heavy duty galvanized steel. It's gonna be a great ramp, I think. So we're gonna finish it out. We're gonna ride up this ramp today. So is the ramp all you envisioned? Oh, it's more than I envisioned, <clears throat> you know? More time, more money, <laughs> more hassle, more sweat. The more real everything. cost of this ramp is who knows with the labor, who like, oh, but it's I gonna be know. here forever. Hey, let's take a quick look at the prep work for the welding here. You can see there's a bevel on both of my pieces. And the reason for that is so that the weld goes all the way down to the bottom of the thickness of the material. We're talking three eighths of an inch. You can imagine if you just butt two pieces tight at the top and there was no gap or anything like that, you could weld the top and it would look good. But your weld wouldn't be very strong because it's kind of sitting on top of the material. Mm. And actually by the time you dress it off with a grinder and make it look nice, all your weld will be gone. Hmm. But it's very important to back bevel and get full penetration. I don't think you can say that. <laughs> it's a technical welding term. Cut. I don't think it is. So Jamie decided to screw these ramps down instead of welding them to the frame for whatever reason. And we're using these self-tapping screws and it's working. I didn't think it'd go through the three eighths. Right there. We're thinking this piece of Trex decking is gonna keep this end from kind of crushing under the weight, which it was bowing a little bit, which I don't think is good, but uh, we'll just cut little pucks. We didn't even ask Jamie, so 
that was a uh, Dad Perkins <laughs> <laughs> fix. And sometimes those aren't good with Jamie. Sometimes he wants a fancier. He, he never likes my ideas. Uh, fancier. And also, you can fill the dirt flush up with the tracks. I don't think it's a bad idea, so we're going to try this one. Jono, you better put that drill in fast as you can go. It's going to storm oh, again. Yeah. It's coming. Tater knob is gone. No, I see it. It's still there. Ramp. It is a nice ramp. I have in front of me here the barn door rollers that go in the barn door track. And we did buy these from Tractor Supply, okay? As much fun as it would probably be to try to make something like this, mm -hmm. it was like 120 bucks for all four of these. One problem is we could not locally find two sets the same. So we bought this one set that has a plate and that's what we really wanted to mount to the door. Mm -hmm. The only other ones they had <clears throat> had this like through bolt mounting that's supposed to go through the top uh, rail of your door. Mm. So we're gonna have to modify this set now to be like this set. So there is some amount of work and we're just gonna really quick show you how we did that. Sucker is in there. Golly, I hope it don't break off. Oh yeah. Crack it out. Wow. <laughs> she really tight. We might need some lube on this. Hey, get the Vegemite. <laughs> Where's the Vegemite? <laughs> this bolt really doesn't want to come out, so I'm using all my strength here to squeeze these channel lock pliers. Did you know that depending on which way you're turning the nut or the bolt, that you actually would rotate and flip these a certain way? Yes, and uh, you want to show us the correct way? I will. So this is the correct way for, I'm going to go counterclockwise. And so when you when you put pressure on it, it sort of has a self-closing kind of clamping more force on the head. And if you flipped it around and, and I'm going to pull counterclockwise again, this way it sort of will spin easier. Slip. No matter how hard you squeeze the handles, it will still slip. But again, it has that self kind of tightening action when you pull it this way. Yeah. See? That's a good tip. There you go. We've already boogered. Did you know that? Pieces, I did but... not know that. I'm seriously, hmm. had no, no one's ever taught me that. You're welcome. Nobody. Nobody. Dang. Hey, you learn something new every day. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to plunge a hole in the top of the door where this bolt comes through, I think. Mm -hmm. But that's, I mean, that's way heavier duty than what they gave, what they gave us. I don't think that's gonna go. Yeah, that's oak. That's uh, in grain oak. That's not gonna work. Oh yeah, you hear that? Why did we not put it on the low side when no, you can just slide it over? Side. I call that the low side. It's the high side. I mean, the lower, it's lower to the ground. Yeah, we had to pick it up for a few. It's pretty. Aren't they? Metallic. Pretty yeah, I really like that paint. So that's your uh, stops? Yeah, these are my... Uh, Keep the doors from just... Whoop, yeah, the ones <laughs> right off the end. Whoop, right out the end of the and, track. Yeah, I'll mention we probably could have bought these. Yeah. I'm sure they had a part like that, and I just didn't, so... The diesel I like these better. Okay. Actually. How do you know? <laughs> Trust me, I do. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty good right there. What did you do? Install it I out. don't think it's meant to pop wheelies like that. 
Dude, it's out of gas. Wow. Talk about poor planning. <laughs> There's no gas in it. There's a gas gauge, but I can't read it. Wow. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, gosh. Isn't that mixed gas? Yeah, it's for like uh, weed eaters. This ought to be interesting. How did you time that so perfect? I was looking through the hole in the door. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. I saw him coming Jason. through the hole. I said, here he comes. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that looked hilarious. Oh, what is that, a pressure <laughs> sensor? <laughs> ramp? It is day, last day, whatever day that is. I think it's the last day on the barn build here with the crew. We're gonna be installing the roofing and today it's gonna to be shingles. Now the whole theme of this was build with what you have and even though I have a lot of leftover metal roofing, all the pieces are different colors. I probably have enough to do two of these barns out of leftover metal roofing, but since it's very visible from my front porch, from my house, from my driveway, we decided to go ahead and spend the $700 that it costs to buy these shingles that match my house so that everything here is kind of cohesive. Is that the right word? Sure. Whatever that means. And that's it, the mower barn is done. But was it really free? Not exactly. If you figure we had an average of four men for five working days, plus the cost of shingles and paint and barn door hardware, it really came out to about $6,700, which is really pretty fair for a structure like this in today's market. I know that Jamie was super pumped to get this project done so quickly and easily, and I hope you enjoyed building with us. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.